ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் மை கேல் ரவினா அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் ஒன் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் த யூனிட் இஸ் க்ளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் விர்ச்சுவலைசேஷன் அண்ட் லோட் பேலன்சிங் விர்ச்சுவலைசேஷன் விர்ச்சுவலைசேஷன் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த பார்ட்டிஷனிங் த ரிசோர்ஸஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஃபிசிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் இன் டு மல்டிப்புள் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் Virtualization is a broad term that refers the abstraction of resources across many aspects of computing. Virtualization is one of the and is an abstraction layer that decouples the physical hardware from the operating system to deliver greater IT resource utilization and flexibility. The key enable technology of cloud computing that allow pooling of resources in cloud computing resources are pooled to serve multiple uses using multi tenancy this is the illustration of the virtualization concept the virtualization concept it uses the virtual machine that of the virtual machines are partitioned uh, it contains each machine contains them applications operating system that are the next one is a virtualization layer the next one is a physical layer in the physical layer processor disk memory networks are available it is mainly divided into two categories the platform virtualization then second one is a resource virtualization the platform virtualization means it involves the simulation of virtual machine resource means it involves the simulation of combined fragmented and simplified resources then next one is a hypervisor in computing a hypervisor is a virtualization platform that allows multiple operating system to run on a host computer at the same time the term usually refer to the implementation of using the full virtualization a hypervisor is a software layer that install on the pla- physical hardware which allows splitting the physical machine into many virtual machine this allows multiple operating system to be run simultaneously on same physical hardware hypervisor presents a virtual operating platform to a guest operating system the in the type 1 hypervisor is a software that runs directly on the host hardware and control the hardware and monitor the guest operating system in the type 2 hypervisors are hosted hypervisors run on the top of the conventional operating system and monitor the guest operating system these are the first one is the, uh, the this figure shows the type 1 uh, hypervisor and type 2 ca- hi- hypervisor then types of virtualization the types of virtualization means there are three types of virtualization first one is a full virtualization then second one is a para virtualization then next one is the hardware virtualization full virtualization means in full virtualization the virtualization completely decouples the guest os from the underlying hardware the guest os requires no modification and it not aware that is being virtualized full virtualization is enabled by direct execution of user request and binary translation of os request para virtualization means the guest os is modified to enable communication with the hypervisor to improve the performance and efficiency the guest os kernel is modified to replace non virtualization virtualizable instructions with hyper calls that communicate directly with the virtualization layer hypervisor hardware virtualization hardware assisted virtualization is enabled by hardware features such as intel virtualization technology and amd in hardware assisted virtualization privileges and sensitive calls are sent to automatically trap to the hypervisor thus there is no need to either binary translation or para virtualization next one is the load balancing load balancing is one of the 
cloud computing concept the lo uh, load balancing can be defined as a process of task distribution among multiple computers processes disk or other sources in order to get the optimal resource utilization and reduce the computation time load balancing is one of the important mean to achieve effective resource sharing and utilization google yahoo amazon and microsoft experience millions of users hits per day to handle the such web requests to the site uses the technique known as load balancing to share the uh, request across the multiple the main goal of the load balancing to achieve multi maximum utilization of resources minimize the response time maximizing the throughput and this is the illustration of the load balancing the load balancing algorithm there are variety of load balancing algorithms are used first one is a round robin load balancing then second one is a weighted round robin load balancing then next one is a low latency load balancing then next one is a least connections load balancing then next one is a priority based load balancing the next one is overflow load balancing the round robin algorithm the round robin load balancing algorithm uses round robin method to assign the jobs first it randomly select the first node and assigns the task to other nodes in the round robin manner this is the one of the easiest method of load balancing the processes assign each process circularly without defining any priority it gives fast response in case of uniform workload distribution among the processes all processes have different loading times therefore some nodes may have may be heavily loaded while others may remain under utilized the next one is a weighted round robin load balancing algorithm this algorithm have developed to enhance the most challenging issues of round robin algorithm in this algorithm there are a specific set of weights and functions which are distributed according to the weight values Proce processes that have a higher capacity are given a higher value therefore the highest loaded servers will get more tasks when the full load level is reached the servers will receive stable traffic